Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is rounding of results as per USP section 7.20. Rounding off to a suitable number is necessary to report the final result of any calculated data. Let us understand the concept of rounding off in the video. Section 7.20 of the USP General Notices and Requirements provides a guideline on rounding off. In this video, we will try to interpret this section 7.20. Let us see the requirement as per USP section 7.20. The observed or calculated values shall be rounded off to the number of decimal places that is in agreement with the limit expression. Numbers should not be rounded until the final calculations for the reported value have been completed. After calculating the results as per the formula given in the monograph, you get a lengthy result with four or five or more digits after the decimal points. The guideline prescribes that the results should be rounded off to the number of digits as in the specifications. That means if there are two digits after the decimal point in the specification, the final reportable result should have only same two digits as final value. If there is one digit, the reported result should also have only one digit. Also, it is very important to know that the rounding off is done only as a final step of the calculation. Intermediate calculations, example slope for linearity may be rounded for reporting purposes, but the original not rounded value should be used for any additional required calculations. Calculations for slope is a very sensitive calculation. So while calculating such very low level calculations, original result that was not rounded off should be used. Acceptance criteria are fixed numbers and are not rounded. Acceptance criteria or specification limits are fixed established numbers, so they should never be changed. Let us see the methodology and requirements for rounding of results. When rounding is required, consider only one digit in the decimal place to the right of the last place in the limit expression. This point should be understood well. If there are two digits after the decimal point in the specifications, you have to select one more digit on the right side next to the two specification digits. That means you have to select total three digits after the decimal point. Same principle holds good for any other numbers. If the digit is smaller than 5, it is eliminated and the preceding digit is unchanged. This is a general rule. For example, if you have to pay a cash of 1002 rupees to someone, you would pay by giving 1000 rupees. You don't consider that the 2 rupees has significant value. So any number less than 5 is ignored as insignificant. If the digit is equal to or greater than 5, it is eliminated and the preceding digit is increased by 1. Similarly, if you have to pay 999, you would pay the same 1000 rupees. The last digit 9 is rounded off to the next number 1000. This is as simple as to understand this way. Let us see some examples. In this example 1, the impurity A has to be within 0.15%. Raw data calculation result is 0.1512364. So after calculating as per the formula given in the monograph, the result is 0.1512364 as shown on the calculator. Number of digits to consider for rounding off after the decimal point is 3. So, as described in slide 4, we have to consider three digits after the decimal point. So, the original data is 
2364. Data after rounding of digits 3, it will become 0 0.151. The last four number of digits in the original result should be ignored. Final rounded off result is 0 0.15. 1 is smaller than 5, so it is deleted and the preceding digit 5 in the result is unchanged. Again, as prescribed in the slide 5, the third digit 1 is smaller than 5 and hence deleted and the preceding number is unchanged. Reported result of impurity A is equal to 0.15%. So, the final reported value is 0.15%. Decision is passed. So, this is a pass result. In this example too, the specification value for SA is not less than 99.0%. The specification is one digit after the decimal point. Raw data calculation result was 98.8665425. So, the raw data calculation result was 98.8665425. Since the specifications has one digit, we have to consider two digits after the decimal point for rounding off. So, this is the original data. Data after rounding off to two digits is 98.86. So, data after ignoring the last five digits, the result is 98.86 for rounding off. Final rounded off result is 98.9. 6 is greater than 5. So, the preceding digit 8 in the result is increased by 1 and changed as 9. The last digit in the result is 6 which is greater than 5. So, the preceding number 8 is rounded off to 98.9%. Reported result of SA was 98.9%. Decision fail. This is a failure value. Yet another example 3 for a typical LOD test. The limit is not more than 2%. Please note that the specification does not have any decimal points. Raw data calculation result is 2.3253665. Number of digits to consider for rounding off after the decimal point is 1. So, only one digit after the decimal point is considered for rounding off. Accordingly, all the six digits after the digit 3 are ignored. The result considered for rounding off is 2.3. Final rounded off result is 2. 3 is smaller than 5. So, it is deleted and the preceding digit 2 in the result is unchanged. Final reported result is... 2% for LOD. Decision is pass. The result is pass for LOD test. Let us see other important points to note. Quantitative results should be presented numerically and not in general terms such as complies, meets limit, etc. This is as per the prescription in ICH Q3A R2 guideline. Complies or meets limit or confirms are the terminology used for qualitative reporting. This is used when there is a comparison of sample result with the standard result for pass or fail decision. When there are numerical values, they should be considered for calculations. Any impurity at a level greater than the reporting threshold and the total impurities observed in these batches of the new drug substance should be reported as indicated below. Below 1% of the results should be reported to two decimal points and above 1% the results should be reported to one decimal place. ICHQ3A prescribes that any related substances more than the threshold should be reported in two digits if the values are lesser than 1% and one digit if the results are more than 1%. 
I hope that the subject of rounding off is understood well. If you don't have any SOP for rounding off results, draft one such procedure including all these features and examples into it. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.